Hey quad bros, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, so glad to have you guys here. Today we're going to be talking about AI and Enlisted. And the AI and Enlisted is a little bit of an enigma, which is weird because they're such a core fundamental part of what makes Enlisted such a unique and interesting experience. You really can't have Enlisted without AI. I mean, yeah, there's lone fighters, but I don't know, I've, I know a lot of people like lone fighters, but I've always just kind of said like, if you play Lone Fighters, you should just play Hell Let Loose. I don't know, man. Anyway, um, so we're going to be taking a look at AI. I've dug up some old dev blogs and have been kind of thinking about it and going through those and talking to various helpers and the like to hopefully give you guys a little bit better of an idea of how the AI in Enlisted works. Now, this is not going to be 100% accurate. A lot of this information is based off dev blogs from 2020 and may be completely outdated in all reality. Um, but some of it does line up with our own experiences playing the game and some of the information from helpers is uh, still obviously quite accurate today. But again, there's just no way to know exactly how the AI work because it's all just happening behind the scenes. Even, you know, data mining and things like that isn't going to give us a perfect picture. But regardless, let's jump into it. So AI choose their targets based on what is called their perceived threat. This is a series of numbers that are processed all together and eventually kind of get to a singular number, your danger level, right, that they assign to each enemy uh, that they can currently detect. Things like you shooting, being close to them, you shooting their nearby allies, all of these things kind of increase threat along with, I'm sure, tons of other variables that Darkflow can constantly kind of tweak. Now, again, there's a lot of variables that play into this, but according to the dev blog, they boil down to just one singular number that the AI uses to sort itself out and to make decisions and to define its own goals. As an example here, a very rough example, an enemy who runs into a room and starts shooting will have a really high danger value, and the AI in that room would theoretically decide to try to shoot the attacker instead of doing something like getting to cover, right? On the other hand, if an enemy sniper is picking off nearby allies, the AI is going to decide that this isn't a super high threat situation, and instead of shooting back, they're actually going to just try to find cover and then return fire. It's not an immediate enough threat for them to say, oh my god, I need to shoot this Russian man with a PPSH. Again, this isn't exactly how this works, but I think from what I've, what I've gathered, this is the general idea, uh, from what I understand at least and from the previous dev blogs that they have uh, put out. It's also worth noting that they have mentioned um, machine learning and how machine learning could theoretically be used to improve the AI. I'm not 100% sure how much this is actually being done in the game because they haven't mentioned it very much. Um, and to be completely honest with you guys, they should have a more than large enough data set to be able to properly do some pretty complex AI. and. I don't think in lot AI don't really feel like they've changed a ton since I even started playing the game. Maybe, well, that's probably not entirely true. But in the last year or so, they don't feel like they have substantially changed. There's been some tweaks and stuff like that, but nothing that really signals to me like it would be some crazy, um, you know, new, uh, new generation of AI, right? That you would get from uh, from a machine learning process. So maybe that's just the translation kind of thing that it's not quite 100% machine learning in the way that. Um, I'm potentially thinking about it, but it's an interesting thing to note. And maybe if any of the devs could jump into the comments below, that would be a really interesting thing to go in depth about. Anyway, that's all how the AI determines who to shoot, right? But there's a bit more to it than that. So that's all, you know, if an AI has detected you. But AI have to detect you first to even be able to assign you a danger value. They're not going to just think that the guy sitting in the back of the map shooting them with a mortar is going to be an immediate threat to them, right? So AI react to noise from basically everything in the game, from footsteps to gunshots, to vehicles even. This all influences their decisions as well, since they can't really, again, shoot or assign a danger value to something that they can't very well see. So things like running, jumping, or shooting will make an AI detect you a lot faster than crawling or walking will. AI also have a short cooldown to aim at an enemy and then a small cooldown after they fire. And from what I've gathered, and this is completely based on my own um, anecdotal evidence, so you know, grain of salt and all that, their chance to hit seems to be simply a roll of the dice based on distance. So the closer you are, the higher chance they have to hit. 
which is possibly why AI seem to do so much better with automatic guns compared to, say, bolt actions or semi-auto weapons. Since, you know, if you burst from a machine gun and fire 10 bullets, that would be 10 chances and 10 rolls of the dice to hit an enemy, as opposed to just one from a bolt action. Now, this is all fine and dandy, and this is some cool information, and maybe if you really are interested in game development, you're pretty hooked on this, like me. But, really, what I, I imagine a lot of you care about is, how does this affect you, the players? How can we, as players, utilize this information to better succeed and have more success in the game? Well, first off, we can manipulate the aggression and the danger variables that the AI are assigning to us by constantly breaking line of sight with the AI and targeting different groups of them, rather than engaging a single group that is going to slowly target us more and more. You want to make sure to eliminate those big groups that have assigned you that danger value, right? You don't want to leave any of them alive because they're going to be more likely to shoot you in the back since they already perceive you as such a high threat. So as an example of this, if you're sitting up on a rooftop or a water tower and you're shooting down, you're going to slowly build up a lot of threat. Eventually, a bunch of the AI on the map are all going to be shooting up at you across the entire map, and it's only a matter of time before you get hit. If you reposition yourself, climb down, get in a different window, break line of sight, that's going to reset their detection and their threat, your threat that they're assigning to you, is going to slowly fade away and they're not going to be uh, shooting at you anymore and you can go back to slaughtering them. Breaking line of sight also helps in close quarters since the AI takes a short amount of time to actually you know, take aim and then fire at you. If you're ducking in and out of windows, buildings, jumping off rooftops, you know, whatever, getting behind the AI, they're going to have to turn and then re-detect you and take aim. And that gives you the split second that you're going to need to wipe them out. Now, for your own AI, you want to make sure to use marks as much as possible. This is critical when it comes to utilizing your AI. When you mark an area, your AI will actually turn towards that mark and detect enemies in that area. And this is absolutely crucial in helping your AI detect threats that are coming to them since that fraction of a second where they have to turn and detect an oncoming enemy is really oftentimes the difference between a free kill and a completely dead wiped out squad. Now as for improvements I'd like to see in Enlisted, I'd honestly love to see more active commands for the AI. I'd love if we could somehow alter these variables on the fly for our AI and um, be able to change how the AI perceive enemies. For example, I'd love if we could set our AI to a defensive stance, where they're more likely to seek cover and lay down fire, um, but it's more slow, right? They, they, they don't fire as quickly, they take a longer time to aim, right? But they are in cover and they put down the more accurate fire, right? So maybe it's like a defensive thing where I can get up in a building and tell my AI to defend and put them in defense mode, and they'll get up in windows, and they'll shoot slower but more accurately. Or alternatively, maybe you could put them on aggressive, where they're, they generate more threat from enemy AI, so they're more likely to get shot, but they acquire enemy targets faster, and they shoot. Like, they, they react and take aim even faster. So you could put them on aggressive and charge into a building, and then, you know, your AI will help you clear out that area, but they're more likely to get shot and take casualties in return. I think that those are just two things that I can, you know, I can list off the top of my head right, for interesting gameplay and, and adding a lot of depth and complexity to an already fairly in-depth and fairly complex game. I, I would love to see that coming from Enlisted because in my opinion, guys, the AI is really what makes Enlisted interesting. It's what makes the game unique. And if you don't have the AI, again, I don't know why you're not just playing Hell Let Loose. And it's kind of sad to me that from a player perspective at least, it seems like they haven't been given the same amount of attention in terms of gameplay as other parts of Enlisted, right? I love that we've gotten paratroopers and I love all of these different mechanics that have been added to the game, but I'd really love if the core part of Enlisted, the thing that makes the game so fun and unique and what draws so many players to it, the AI, got a little bit more love from a gameplay perspective. I imagine there's a lot of effort that goes on behind the scenes to make the AI work, um, but a lot of the times it feels like that doesn't necessarily trickle down to players, at least not in a way that players can noticeably feel and see. So that's it for me, guys. That's kind of my little gist on it, right? That's my little rant talking about Enlisted AI. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on Enlisted AI. What kind of things would you guys like to see from the AI going forward? What are your guys' big pet peeves about AI? And how would you guys theoretically make AI a little bit more interesting?
Leave your comments down below. And while you're there, leave a like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it helps me out a ton, guys. But without anything else, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.